right it's travel day again but before we go i gotta go into my all-time favorite store aldi to pick up some things for our trip got to come with me right here always put my quarter in take out my car david shop aldi of course my wife gave me the list before i even uh, got out of the car but uh i'm gonna do my thing Get in and get out of here really fast. Set me in for some nuts, but it's nuts all over the place. I don't know which one of these she said to get, but had some fruit in it. I got two of them, but both of them may be the wrong thing, but I don't care. Guess one of them may be right. Now I have to get some bread. I don't know which one to get. So I look at the price and which other one has the best price, that's the one I get. Next thing I grab is some chips for the kids. They love having their chips. All right, we did the quick shop, ready to go. Let you see everything that I got. Didn't get a lot, but just enough to get us through these next two days. We got some bread, cheese, chips. Some boxes of pizza, bacon, eggs, milk, snacks for the kids. All right, just packed the car, put the cart back, got my 25 cents for the cart. And now I'm headed back to the rig to pack it up, hook it up, and hit the road by 1 p.m. Check-in was at 12, so I'm behind the schedule. Had to do something this morning, but I'm on my way back to the rig. I have to full up, but this gas is high. I don't know if you can see it there, 509. That gas is expensive. I paid $77.93 and I didn't even see how much gas I got. I just left. <laughs> that thing is going up. But I left uh, the city, back in the city in the Bronx, it was $5.29 a gallon. Over here, it's still $5.09 a gallon. So that works out a lot better. Oh, what I forgot to mention is that I pulled up my day-to-day. -day. The tow vehicle is filled up. I filled that one up already. My wife has it. And uh, I'm driving this one back to put it in the garage until we get back. So this is a Chevy Camaro and it cost $77 to fill up a Chevy Camaro. I'm gonna be in the tow vehicle in a second. I have to hook it up. All right, I just got all the food put away. Now I nearly forgot Max dog food. He would have not been okay with that. So I had to run back in and get that. Now I have to hook up the tow vehicle. All right, we got the RV hooked up. The car's packed up, the kids in, the door's locked. We out of here. I'm gonna show you our route. We headed to Gettysburg. All right, I had to do my walk around. I wanted to pull out of the uh, the drive before I did my walk around because there were so many trees and hills everywhere. So I like to always do that, make sure my lights and everything is working. I do that every trip. You can't go fast enough. You always wanna take your time and get that done because like a mistake, a mistake could be costly. Just so I just wanna go over, look over the rig. It's a lot of trees nowadays, especially this time of year. These trees are flourishing, boy. All right, we are on our way to Gettysburg. TV's on for the kids. We on the road, making our way up. We're trying to make it before the storm. Storm said it's at six, but I feel some drizzles out here. But let's see if we can make it. It's about two hours away. Estimated time of arrival is about 4.16. So that means we may get there about five o'clock. You know when we drive slow. <laughs> Remember, it's the first time that we're coming to this campground, so we're gonna have a good time when we're over here. I don't even think the kids know where we're going, so it'll be a surprise to them, but they'll see it when we get there. They're over there preoccupied, the dog, everybody. Oh, wait till I guys tell you, wait till I tell you guys about my son's little mishap. I don't know if you can tell, just by looking at him, but he had a little mishap with some scissors. We have about a little over an hour away. Well, this guy is flying here, so I'm going slow. But a little more than an hour away, and we'll be at our destination. I like driving 
at the speed limit when I have this uh, RV attached to the tow vehicle. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. But it can be rather costly, so I just take my time and drive. You can see the time that you're gonna get there with the GPS or the, what, the, what they call that thing. You know what they call that, but a GPS, I call it the GPS. You can tell what time you get there, go on a speed limit. Sometimes you go a little over, sometimes you go a little under, but give or take 10 or 15 minutes, you're still gonna get there nearly at the same time. So I like to just take my time, go on the speed limit. Right now, if the speed limit is 65, I'm going 69, but I was on a downhill slope. Now I'm on an uphill slope, speed decreased a little bit, but you know, you just want to get there and have all your pieces together. We're on the side of a mountain now. I miss this great scenic view. As we're driving in the backdrop, you can see the horizon and the mountain touching the horizon. I mean, it was great to see. I'll try to catch it next time because we're on the top of the mountain. We have to come down, so I know we're going to see it. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but I love the way you can see the green of the trees in front of you. But if you look all the way to the backdrop, you see different shades of green coming off the mountain. That's absolutely amazing. I love to see when the skyline touches the mountain. That is freaking cool. Those are the sights I like. I mean, I see an Arby sign coming up right here. I like that sign too. Arby's is great. Look at the sight right here. When I'm overseas in Europe, these things are flourishing all over town. It's a beautiful sight. Well, we made it to the sheets. We made it to sheets gas station a pup needs to go all the babies needed to go so they go on one by one in the bathroom but we're about 10 to 15 minutes away from the campground i like to fill up before we get there so that when we leave i don't have to fill up again <clears throat> but uh it's about a two and a half hour drive to get up here you know, if you add the drive from the Bronx, you had to add on another two and a half hours. So it's about a five hour drive for me total. But from when I picked up the camper, it's about a two and a half hour drive. Is everyone coming out of the camper from going to the bathroom? Again, we had sheets. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, everyone use the bathroom. I use the bathroom. We'll put the dog back, the kids are back. And let's see how much the fuel costs. Over here, the fuel is $4.99. So it's 10 cents cheaper than by the house. 20 cents cheaper than the Bronx in New York. So that was great. All right, remember, we're not empty. We were not empty when I pulled up, but came up to $88.72 for a little over 17 gallons. Almost 18 gallons, but 88.72. The gas here is... 449 and gallon. So when you compare the Camaro to the Chevy Tahoe, it's only a $10 difference when you're filling them up because both cars, I never let them go totally empty before I refill. And it's only a $10 difference. I fill them up at the same points. Uh, gas is what it is. Hopefully it, it'll stabilize or go down. But those of us that like to travel, we gotta pay for it. It is what it is. We in the country now. Very close to the Gettysburg farm that we're going to. But stay tuned, guys. We're going to review this park in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But this is like a really nice town over here. Look how well kept it is. It's really nice. All right, guys. Here we go, we made it to our campground. We are here. 
All right, we finally made it. Everybody's looking at all the animals. We're gonna make it to our campsite, but make sure you stay tuned for the review of this park. I think you're gonna like it. All right, guys, we made it to Gettysburg. Make sure you check out our next video where we're gonna do a review of the park. What do you guys have to say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe with the notification button. Oh, you heard what they said. Like and subscribe. See you later, everybody.